Good morning, Hero Wars fans. We are now on the third day of the quiz event, and I hope you all have been able to use your cheating techniques to get high scores. In my case, I'm currently ranked 115th in the quiz event, but I've already earned 2,455 points, and my highest ranking is 20th. The contents of the Lore Seekers bag, which is the reward for the quiz event, are not so luxurious, but since the number of Lore Seekers bags is in the hundreds, you can get a lot of resources in total. Now, until yesterday, I didn't know much about the other event that was going on in parallel with this quiz event. As some of the viewers may already know, during the quiz event, there is also a 24-hour event that changes at the same time every day. In the case of today's 24-hour event, the challenge was to open 70 hero chests, which was completely over budget. Haha, ha, there's no way a low budget player can completely pull off something like this. This is exactly the kind of event that is literally impossible, but might be attractive to players who pay for it. For those who are trying to summon Cleaver, this is a great opportunity to use the messed up emeralds to bang open the hero's treasure chest. Now that the 24-hour daily event will continue until Tuesday, I'm curious about the content of tomorrow's and the next day's events. So in this video, I'd like to show you the contents of the daily event for tomorrow and beyond. If you are a low-budget player with a stockpiling strategy, then the 24-hour event from Saturday to Monday is for you. Tomorrow, Saturday, we will open 150 artifact chests, and yes, we are ready for that. I have about 188 artifact chest keys stockpiled, so I will be using them tomorrow to complete the tasks for the 24-hour event. And on Sunday, there will be a 24-hour event that requires the use of 50 pet summoning eggs, so yes, I'm planning to open my stockpile of 172 pet summoning eggs in a big way. As for Monday, I'll be using 92 summoning spheres to challenge the 24-hour event. As for Tuesday's tower event, I'll be watching it with my fingers crossed. By the way, in this 24-hour event, you will be given a Matrio Sheikah doll associated with each event, so the most important thing is to be lucky when you open it. Preferably, the Matrio Sheikah would go on and on for about 20 minutes, but I'm already nervous because it can end surprisingly quickly. Well, it's like a schoolboy who can't sleep at night because he's looking forward to the field trip. It may sound crazy, but it's not often that I know in advance that I'll be able to completely dominate a 24-hour event for three consecutive days, so I can't help but be nervous. This time, I would like to talk about my main team, Kark. Today, after a year and four months of hard work, Kark's equipment has finally reached the highest rank of Red Plus 2. I feel like praising myself for sticking it out for such a long time. As a result, Kark's overall strength is now over 130,000, and I'm happy to say that he can now withstand Yasmin's attacks to some extent. Now I just need to concentrate on training Faceless and Jorgen, who I stopped leveling up after they turned purple, to improve their defenses, and I expect to be able to fight tenaciously. Now, it's time for the video to end. If you've trained your hero to the highest rank, Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.